This Martian lander is stuck on Mars and needs our help to come rescue it. It has only 3.1% of its fuel left, which is not enough to get home. Luckily, there is a docking port on top, so we're gonna need to build a rocket to come and rescue it. Last time we did this, it didn't work too well. We're gonna try again today, and I'm thinking we do something to refuel this, and then we could bring them up and dock it with a station. So let's build a rocket. Okay, so this is what we used last time, um, and I want something kind of similar, except instead of this little section where it comes down and connects on the side like we had last time, I want it to just refuel the lander, and then we could bring the whole lander up. So I'm going to get rid of this section. So we still want this to bring us back because the astronauts have to come back to Earth in this pod. Okay, I'm thinking something like this. So just this section will go down to the surface and attach to the top of our lander, refuel it, and then we can move it and then launch that lander back up and connect it to this module. Okay, something like this. So I'm gonna actually just move all of this over and put it on the ground so we can just test this really quick. If it can take off here, it will definitely work on Mars. Okay, it can't quite take off. I'm wondering how we could make sure that it works. It just needs to slow down enough. So I think it will work. So we're gonna risk it. Um, let's add some RCS to it. I wanna use parachutes on it because Mars has a thin atmosphere, so we wanna save as much fuel as we can coming down. Just to help us slow down, I'm gonna put some parachutes on it. Okay, perfect. So, and we already knew this rocket got us to Mars last time. So let's make sure our staging's correct. So we're gonna have these engines. Okay, here we go. Attempt two on the rescue mission. Here we go. Launch is good. It looks like we're actually gonna run out of fuel in this middle section before these side ones. So I could have staged that better. Okay, and we're out on this middle stage, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just have to wait for those to run out and then we can stage this whole section off. Okay, stage and stage. Stage is good. Okay, here we go. Push to orbit now. Okay, now we just need to cruise till we get to this point in our orbit. Then we need to boost again to get us in orbit around the Earth. I'll be here now. Oh, boost. So we need this line to be going around the Earth instead of into the Earth. Oh, we're even gonna run out. Okay, we ran out, that's okay. We can start on our next stage. Push it the rest of the way. Cause this engine is highly, these are efficient engines. So they don't use as much thrust, uh, but their efficiency is higher. Okay, now that we're in space, we can actually open our fairing. So here's our actual like machine. So we're gonna use the rest of this field to push us to Mars. And then um, whatever's left, we can use to slow down once we get there. And then this is what's gonna bring us home right here. And this is what's gonna go down to the surface to collect our lander. Okay, so now that we're in orbit around Earth, we zoom out until we see Mars right here. We click navigate to. So we have to wait till the Earth is actually here. We're gonna accelerate time until Earth is there. So it looks like we're having, having to wait over a year in space. So now we have a transfer window here. So once we pass this transfer window, you're gonna see it's gonna give us a uh, speed. So we need to accelerate 760 more meters per second. And once we're going that fast, we'll be going fast enough that we'll reach Mars. And we're at just the right time in the, the Earth and Mars's orbit that we'll hit Mars. We'll get really close to it. So we're gonna accelerate. And the reason we don't need that fairing anymore is because we're in outer space, so there's no air resistance. So it doesn't matter that these aren't very aerodynamic. So once we start to get close, I'm actually going to cut the engines, turn on RCS. And then if we zoom in on Mars from here, we can see a line we should be able to. Okay, so see this line? This is where we're gonna go. So we wanna get this pretty close to Mars using our RCS. You can hear the boosters going off. We want it close without hitting Mars. So let's wait until it's like right there. And then we start to accelerate time and it locks it, which is kind of unrealistic, but we're gonna do it anyway. So now if we just speed up time a ton, Here's our ship, it just left the sphere of influence of the Earth, and by the time it gets here, Mars will be there, and we're gonna encounter Mars. 
So here comes Mars, so we're gonna start to slow it down. If you zoom in on Mars, you can see it from Mars's perspective instead of the sun's perspective. Um, and it looks like we're gonna go straight into Mars, but we're actually gonna barely miss it right here. Okay, so now that we're in the sphere of influence of Mars, I'm going to orient my rocket backwards. Retrograde is what it's called. And then I'm going to time warp right here. So right when we're at the closest point to Mars, then we fire our engines full blast until we slow down enough to get in orbit around Mars. We may start using our next stage if we run out. It looks like, yeah, we're gonna run out. That's okay. So let's stage this and start to use this engine. Slow down. And the good thing is we don't need to slow down too much when we get back to Earth because the atmosphere will do most of our slowing down because we have a heat shield. So this actually, this pod right here is the only thing that's gonna return to Earth. Everything else is gonna get left in space. Okay, so you can see now we're technically in an orbit of Mars. So let's wait for this to get a little bit closer. Okay, and then we're gonna time warp to this side too and slow it down a little bit more. So now we're in a low Mars orbit, which is perfect. All right, there is perfect. Um, it looks like we used 60% of our fuel in this stage, which is not great. Uh, we'll see if we have enough to get back. Anything left from this after we can transfer back. Okay, so now that we're in orbit, what we're gonna do is separate here. So now we're in control of this little pod. Let's turn on our RCS. And then we can use this to start to slow down. And we want to land right next to our Ares 3 lander, which is right here. I'm actually gonna time warp to about right here. So I'm gonna start boosting now so that our line, so this is where we're going and we want it to meet up with our Ares 3 lander here. But we wanna try to save as much fuel as we can because we need that fuel to go into our lander so we can take off again. So I'm just gonna boost until these this line meets up with our lander right there. Okay, then we're gonna time warp into the atmosphere. And we need to boost mostly vertical. So a little more vertical than horizontal. So something like this. And we just wanna start to slow down so we don't get burned up by the atmosphere. And then once we get below 4,500 meters, we can start to use our parachutes to slow us down even more. Looks like we're doing pretty good on fuel because our parachutes are gonna do a lot of work in just a second. Wanna make sure we don't fly past it. Okay, open the parachutes. Cut the engines. Okay, parachutes are open. And they should start to slow us down. And it looks like we got a pretty good course straight for our lander. It looks like we might miss it a little bit, but that's okay. We can adjust. Here comes the surface. I'm gonna, okay, they, they fully deployed. And now we're going, okay, there's the lander. This is perfect. But basically we're gonna land and then cut our chutes and then we can fly over and land on this. So let's start boosting so we don't hit this going too fast. Okay, okay, so we're landed, shoots automatically cut. Um, I don't know what the deal is with this RCS not working right, but we're gonna have to do it without RCS then. So now we just need to launch over and land on this. Okay, we wanna not die here. This is the riskiest part, because we have no RCS. So this is gonna be a hard landing. And we wanna try to save as much fuel as we can while still not crashing into it. Okay, the RCS works left to right. Okay, we gotta like come down on top of it, but then not hit it too, too hard. Come on, come on. Come on, don't burn it, don't burn it. Come on! And drop. And a little more. Drop. Okay, now dock. A little more! Drop! Dock! Dock! Look, they're not docked! Okay, a little more. Drop. Yes! Woo! Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, now we transfer all the fuel into here. Oh, okay, oh, that was scary. Now it looks like we're gonna have a good amount of fuel in here. Okay, okay, so I launched this one off 
Um, so we have 73% of our fuel in our Ares 3. So now we just basically have to launch it up. So we need to fly up and redock with our command module. So you ready? Here we go. So our first step is to try to get this into orbit. And we do want to try to save as much fuel as we can because we're going to use the remaining fuel on this and transfer it to our command module. So let's bring it up. So right about here, we cut the engines and then we just wait for our rocket to reach um, the top of its orbit. And then we can put it into Mars orbit. Okay, so now that we're in space right here, let's start boosting sideways. And this will bring us into Martian orbit. Bring it up. Okay, low Mars orbit now. Okay, that's a little wonky. It should be okay. Okay, so our lander here does not have RCS on it. So it's very hard to maneuver small adjustments. So I think we actually have to use our command module um, and use the RCS on here to dock. So we're going to use our command module and try to dock with our Ares 3 lander. So we're going to try to navigate to and it's going to give us a transfer window. So we're just going to boost time. We're just going to speed up time until it gives us a good transfer window. Okay, right there. So it's giving us positive 47. So we need to speed up 47 meters per second. And then we will get close enough to the lander to dock. So we get it really close and then we use our RCS to adjust that. So we want it to like as close as we can to zero right there. So it looks like we're gonna get really, really close right here. So we're I'm gonna time warp to right here. And the lander and us should be very, very close at that point. So we want to track this and it looks like we're flying away from it now so start going this way okay so now i'm gonna use not the map so it looks like our side velocity right here we want side velocity to be zero and then our velocity to be around one meter per second so let's just try to slow us down because that we don't want to hit it at 10 meters per second that's too fast so we're using rcs to slow ourselves down okay we're getting pretty close here so we just basically need this nose to touch here and they should dock and dock yes okay so now we're docked so now we're going to transfer any fuel we have left in our lander back to our command module because we're going to leave the lander here because we don't need to bring this back so it's basically like the astronauts that were stuck in the lander are now getting into the command module so we could just leave our lander now uh just undock and we have 44% of our fuel. So this is what we need to get home. So I'm gonna just rotate so we don't accidentally redock with this. And let's go back to our map. We're gonna have to navigate back to Earth. So let's zoom out. So here's Earth and we're just gonna navigate to. So we need to wait till Mars is actually all the way up here. So I'm gonna speed up time until we're there. Then once Mars is in that transfer window, it'll also give us a transfer window around the orbit of Mars that we need to wait for. So we need to wait for our rocket to be on that transfer window. Okay. And so we need to accelerate 420 meters per second. So let's rotate our rocket and this will give us enough um, speed to get back into earth, to get back to earth. I'm going to not use these side engines because they're not as efficient. This middle engine is the most efficient engine. So we're only going to use that to try to save as much fuel as we can. And it looks like we'll be perfectly fine on fuel. So this is perfect. We're going to make it back. So once again, once this gets really close, we're going to use RCS to try to position it. So once it says zero, that means we're in the sphere of influence of Earth. So now we zoom in on Earth and we can see our actual encounter and we can use RCS to adjust it. So we want to get as close as humanly possible to Earth. We want it to like kiss the atmosphere almost. Okay, that should be good around there. And we're just going to speed up till we get closer now. So now we just escaped the sphere of influence of Mars. So you can see Mars is right here and our rocket is separate now. And we're taking a trip around the sun basically to this point right here. And once we get there, Earth will be there too. So we're kind of meeting up with Earth. And it looks like we have just enough fuel that we should be completely fine. Because the atmosphere will do most of our slowing down. Okay, I'm going to do a quick adjustment burn. Or see if maybe we can just adjust it with RCS. We want this to be in the atmosphere like that. Perfect. So now I'm going to time warp to about right here. And we're going to use just the rest of our fuel to slow down. And I'm going to start boosting with what we have left. We can actually use these now. 
And we just want to make sure that it's still in the atmosphere. I'm actually going to wait till we're probably like right here. As much atmosphere as we can really, because that'll give us more time to slow down before we hit the ground. Okay, that should be completely fine. So I'm actually going to delete this stage, add a new stage where we break off here. And now we're just in this pod, so imagine all of our astronauts are in this pod. There aren't any astronauts in the game yet, but they're planning on adding that soon. Anyway, so now we're entering the atmosphere, so we want to position our rocket, our pod, that's all we have. So the heat shield is getting all of the heat, not our module. And this will allow us to use the atmosphere to slow down. You can hear the other rockets breaking up from the heat, but we have a heat shield, so hopefully we don't burn up. So here's our heat shield temperature, and if this gets full, then our heat shield will break. It'll melt. So we don't want that. Um, and it looks like I think we'll be okay. So let's use our, the atmosphere to slow down. And our heat's starting to go down. So we made it. We, we lived. Okay, now we just have to make sure the parachutes work. So I'm just going to fast forward until we get lower. You can see we're all burned up. Okay, parachutes half deployed. And now we're going down still. And then they should fully deploy before we hit the ground. Okay, here we go. Touchdown! We did it! Woo! We survived! Okay, we rescued the astronauts that were stuck on Mars. Recover. Oh look, look at all of our achievements. Safely return to Earth. That's the most important one. Recover. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Space Flight Simulator, please like the video. It helps out the channel a lot. Thank you so much to my patrons. We have Borg, uh, a super supporter actually on my Patreon. If you would like to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.